Okay, so in this video I will install CoReader on an Android tablet, a normal Android tablet. And also as a bonus I will copy the settings from another install of CoReader to this tablet. So I can skip uh, doing all the customizations and settings if I want to have exact same settings on this Android tablet as I have on for example the Unix Books Palma or the Big Me B751C or my Kobo or my Kindle and otherwise. I can copy the settings from all my devices running CoReader into this Android tablet. So let's start by uh, logging in. Like so. And from here we should go into a web browser to find CoReader GitHub page. So let's start uh, Chrome. Uh, let's have my glasses to see better. Uh, then we search for uh, co-reader github like so. Here we have the co-reader github page as you see there. Here we should find the uh, download files installation as you see here Android. Uh, so we go into Android from here you can click the latest release. Uh, we have the latest release here. We go down to find all the different releases. We have here uh, ARM64. We have ARM64 Android as you see there. So that's the version I will use for this tablet, the Android ARM64 version APK. So let's click on that. And now it downloads. Now it has downloaded. Now we click open. And here it ask if you want to install it and I click install and uh, now we get an uh, Google Play Protect uh, install anyway yes I want to install anyway so you need to do that because they think uh, this app is uh, dangerous because it's from the web so now we have installed CoReader. That is how easy it is to install it. Now we open it. Now we need to allow all, manage all files. Like doing so. As you see there. Now we go back uh, into CoReader. Here we have CoReader now with the, the default settings doesn't look so good. It has opened the quick start guidebook as you see here. Uh, so now we can go back and read the quick start guide for CoReader. We can do a lot of settings up here as you see. This is actually CoReader now. So if we for example click on uh, the library here, we have the library. The only book I have is the quick start guide. If we click on home, we go to home, what you have set as home here. So here we can uh, check all the different folders, for example, co-reader here. Uh, we have the co-reader folder. We can go back up again. This is a file manager in co-reader. So here you should create a books folder, for example, if you don't have one. So if we go here, you can click the plus page and create new folder. We can do a books folder like so. So now we have a books folder and now I can do use that as my home folder instead. So if I long press on the book folder, we can set it as home folder. 
So now when I click on the home, we have the books folder and here should all your books go when you are done with all the settings and so on. But now we will go back to the Android tablet because now <clears throat> I will show you how I copy the settings from another co-reader device, for example this, into this device. And I have uh, the file manager up here for Samsung. I have uh, network storage. You can use OneDrive, you can internal storage, SD card, Google Drive, whatsoever. You can connect this to your computer and copy files from that and so on. But I will do it from my network storage by doing this. Sorry, I need to do an update first. Sometimes you need to do updates from the Samsung apps. So now we can open that. Here we have the network storage again. We click on that. I have my Mac. If I click on that, we have my network storage here. We can go into, I think it's my A4 drive. Here we have a uh, co-reader backup, co-reader settings and co-reader as you see there. If you go into this is my latest backup I think. Here we can... Uh, sorry, wrong folder. Uh, I think it's co-reader settings. Yes, co-reader settings I think it is. Like this. So. In this folder, I can copy some settings files to have all the settings I want copied to my new co-reader installation. But before we do that, I forget that we need to close the co-reader in the background like so. So now I have closed co-reader. So now we should copy. I don't know how to do that in this file manager, but we will see if I long press on that and we long press on the settings folder. You should have the data folder. You should have the settings folder. You should have the fonts folder. You should have the settings reader Lua, like so. Uh, those are the stuff you should copy. Uh, I don't remember really where the dictionaries are but we will do that later on so now i have marked four files if i now click copy and we go to my internal storage we should find the co-reader folder like so if i now click copy here i don't know if you can um, If you can copy over the folders that are already in that folder, but we will see what's happening. Uh, replace. So I replace the folders that are already there. Replace. So now it copies those folders and files over to this tablet, as you see there. So it will take a while, as you see. Uh, so maybe it will be like that for a while. So now we have uh, soon copied all the files, as you see down here, but uh, meanwhile, we can also show the uh, this pretty cool. Uh, you see the the cover I have for this tablet could also be a stand. I love that when reading books. Very very nice to have it like a stand to read books on. As you see, works great actually. But back to the copying of the files. Very soon we will have it finished. 
So now we have copied those files. So now I want to see uh, in my storage here if we got also the dictionaries. Yes, from copying the data you get all the dictionaries. So that's enough with all those folders we copied. So the folders you should copy is the data folder, fonts folder, settings folder and also the file settings reader Lua. That's the files you should copy. So now we can go back here and now we should find co-reader that we have installed. Like so. Now we open that and cross our fingers that it will work. Like so. Uh, let's see. If we go to home, we have the books folder again. Uh, set as home folder, set as home, like so. Uh, we have co-reader, we can go into the help file to see if we got all the settings right. As you see here, we got the settings right. We have uh, the stuff I want here. We have everything in the settings now I want. Let's see if we have the fonts. Uh, Sorry. Yes, we have the fonts. This is my um, standard font, Atkinson Hyper Legible. If you want to have a font that will always be open with all your books, then you just long press on it and set it as default. Then it will always use that font. So I think we have all the settings that I had before on all my other devices. Of course I will uh, adjust and, and have more info and uh, do some other stuff here when uh, I want to have more stuff here and have it uh, a bit smaller and so on. But that will be in a later settings for me. But if you click here down uh, you can also do all the settings here of course. You can set the contrast. To 15, apply, set as default, like so. For example, you can have the font weight as, uh, you can have it like so, for example, to have it a bold, set as default, like so. Uh, you can also have uh, embedded style on, embedded fonts off. You can have medium spacing or, and uh, here you can set the font size to what you want to have, of course. And here you can have line spacing, set as you want. You can have 100% as default instead, set as default, like so. And you can have uh, top margins and bottom margins and so on, set as you want. Default values, zero, like so. You can have uh, left and right margin set as you want. Uh, maybe I want to have it smaller like so, default values, apply, like so. So, as I said, you can do a lot of settings, but now I have finally have co-reader settings copied and co-reader installed on this device. Now, only thing to do is to uh, add co-reader to my uh, bar down here like so. Now I have co-reader there and Storytel here. Uh, Storytel on 
an Android tablet is a lot better than it is on iOS. Uh, that's strange to me, but uh, the reason why Storytel is better on Android is that uh, you can have how many pages left of this chapter at the same time as as many pages left in the book. You can do that on iOS, sadly. And also you can choose a lot of more stuff here. You can have different uh, color, uh, for example. Uh, you can do that on in iOS. Not all so bad. Uh, you can have which font you want, for example, like this. So all the settings you do here is much better on uh, Android than it is on iOS. So that's it. So now I have CoReader and it works great. I only uh, don't have any books left on it. <laughs> so I will add some books later on. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Okay, bye.